Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a question that many Jenkins users encounter. Our viewer is looking for a way to set conditional environment variables in a Jenkins declarative pipeline. They want to know how to override default values based on specific conditions, like the branch being built. Let's dive into the details and see how we can solve this challenge together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's get on to the video. To implement conditional environment variables in a Jenkins declarative pipeline, we can use the when directive. This allows us to set environment variables based on specific conditions, such as the branch name. Let's start by defining our pipeline with default environment variables. Then we'll add a stage that checks the branch name and overrides the environment variables accordingly. In this example, if the branch name is feature, the environment variable env1 will be set to new1. This ensures that the variable is available as a real environment variable for your Node.js script. You can extend this logic to include more complex conditions or additional environment variables. Just add more if statements within the script block. Finally, remember to test your pipeline to ensure that the environment variables are set correctly based on the conditions you've defined. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To set conditional environment variables in a Jenkins declarative pipeline, one user found success by using the shell command in the environment section. They created a variable that checks the git branch and appends it if it's not developed. However, the user notes that this solution may not be portable since their Jenkins is running on a Unix-like system. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Jenkins declarative pipeline, you can set environment variables flexibly using maps. For example, you can define a map with different keys and values, and then assign a variable based on a condition. This method allows for a wide variety of options. If you need even more complexity, you can use a map of maps. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Jenkins declarative pipeline, you can set conditional environment variables easily. Start by defining your environment variables with default values. In the preparation stage, you can override these variables using a script block. This allows you to set them to specific values. After setting the variables, you can echo them to see their values. This method is simple and visually appealing.
In the build stage, you can use these environment variables in shell commands. Remember, overridden variables apply to all subsequent stages. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In this Jenkins declarative pipeline example, the user attempts to set a conditional environment variable called target. They use the change request function to determine if the build is for a pull request or a CI build. The user finds that this approach works for pull request builds, where target correctly reflects the target branch. However, for CI builds, target evaluates to null, which is unexpected. This highlights a potential issue with using conditional environment variables in Jenkins, particularly in different build contexts. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.